Okay, this is the AMS three and a quarter inch basic soil sampling kit. Um, each kit comes with three auger heads, three different styles. The first auger head is called a regular auger. It's for most soil conditions. Um, we'll probably be using this one here because it's a little bit gravelly. The other auger head is what's called a mud auger, and it's used for muds and tight clay situations. It's got a laser cut cylinder on it, so when you do have your sample on the inside, it's easy to remove the sample from the auger. And the last is a three and a quarter inch sand auger. The teeth on this auger are actually touch in the center so that when you retrieve your sample on the way out of the borehole, it doesn't fall back out and lose unconsolidated materials. The kit also includes three four foot extensions, enough to go down to approximately 12 feet. Um, also included is a 10 pound slide hammer attachment, a cleaning brush, a two by six inch core sampler, complete with a 2x6 plastic retaining cylinder, a cap pack, crescent wrenches, a slip wrench, and of course your 18 inch rubber coated cross handle. So what I'll do is I'll just we'll auger down with an auger head to approximately two feet, make a pilot hole. Once we've reached the depth we want to go to, we'll attach the slide hammer to a core sampler and go down and take a relatively undisturbed pour. Start out by attaching your extension to your auger head of your choice. You might have to use several different auger heads on the way down as you encounter different soil lithologies. These auger bits are designed to actually help pull the auger down into the ground so you don't really have to push down too hard on the auger. Each auger has a tungsten carbide hard surface edge on it as well which strengthens the auger teeth and keeps your sharpened edge there longer. We'll start by turning it 360 degrees. Once the auger is full at the top of the cylinder, you know it's time to remove it from the hole and empty it. Return it to the hole, continue augering. Once you've reached your desired depth, you're going to switch out to the core sampler. Now I've already put some Teflon tape on both of these threads. When you're using the slide hammer, a lot of force is exerted on these, so you don't want your threads to come loose while hammering or you'll strip them out. Start by threading on your extension to your slide hammer. Thread on your core sampler. It's also a good idea to once you've got them threaded on, to wrench tighten each of your fittings. Put your core sampler into the borehole. Now on this one, 
I've already marked off on my extension six inches because I have a six inch core sampler. So when this line reaches the top of the of the uh, bore hole, I know that the sampler is filled and it's time to remove it from the hole. When you're slide hammering, you don't necessarily have to keep your hands on the slide hammer. You can actually kind of throw it and let the hammer do the work. When you're removing the, the core sampler from the hole, always try and pull it out first. If you can't pull it out with your own force, go ahead and back hammer a little bit with your slide hammer to pop it loose. Unscrew your core sampler. Slide out your liner partially, grab the end cap, slide out the rest of the liner, put your other end cap on, and you've got a nice contained core inside a liner. You can actually write directly on this plastic liner what depth you grabbed the sample from and what location. And that's your three and a quarter inch basic kit.